Hey everybody, welcome to Fortunate Creations. I'm Kim and this is a channel where we talk about everything to do with crafting. So from amigurumi to weaving and anything in between, if you like crafting and being creative, stick around. I think you're going to like it here. Today is another episode of Coffee with Kim and it's just a great way to start off our day, kind of ease into it, especially being Monday. Grab a cup of coffee or a cup of whatever you use to start your day and let's talk about some crafting. So I do have some crochet, I do have some gardening, and I do have some other crafting to talk to you about. So um, yeah, let's jump into this. So happy Monday. Um, yesterday, sorry about my voice, it's still a little bit squeaky. Um, hopefully it'll be back. I do have cough drops just in case. Um, but I have a lot of stuff I want to share with you. Yesterday, after um, after my live, I wanted to get out a little bit because I do have to work the rest of the week. I'm substitute teaching the rest of the week. So I want to um, get out and get some shopping done. I did a different kind of treasure hunt because I didn't actually go to a thrift store. I actually went to like a bargain store. Um, it's called Ocean State Job Lots. We have it here. And um, yeah, it's pretty neat. It's got great discounts. And let me show you some of the stuff I got. Okay, so the first thing I did was I walked to the back of the store and there is a clearance in the back. So there was a, an employee back there working and she was marking down even further some of the clearance items. And I just happened to walk by her and she's like, um, do you feed birds? <laughs> I was like, what do I have a sign on me that says it? But I was like, yes, I absolutely do. Why? And it's funny because we were just talking about feeding the birds in yesterday's coffee with Kim. So um, I was like, yeah, I absolutely do. So she had two bags that were normally 16 and $18 of bird feed, bird food. And um, she gave them each to me for four bucks. So that was cool. I'm like, yep, put them in the cart. And then um, she's like, oh, do you need garbage bags? And it was the big black contractor bags. I'm like, yeah, I need them for the camper. Put them in the cart. Um, let's see, what else? And then she gave me iron-on stickers, which are pretty neat. I could use them for whatever, you know what I mean? They're pretty cool iron-on stickers. 25 cents for them. I said, yeah, absolutely, I, I can use those. So that, I believe, was it from the clearance aisle. But... um. I did get a few other things. Now, let's. we were talking gardening, and 99% of the time I have my own seeds. But this year, the only thing I have is marigolds. All of my other annuals were damaged in the last um, flood we had. It wasn't really a flood, but the water came up way heavier or way higher. So almost as if it was a sign from, you know, from the garden gods. <laughs> I got this in the mail and I never order from here, but I will get an idea of what flowers I want, excuse me, of what flowers I want in the garden. So I looked through this before I left this morning, or I mean, sorry, before I left yesterday, I looked through it and I'm like, all right, now I got a good idea in my head what flowers I want. So at Job Lots, they were having a sale. Um, all annuals were a dollar and all perennials were a dollar 25. So, <laughs> so this happened. <laughs> Let's see what I got. Got a lot of them. Okay, so I got two of each. Um, okay. So Viola, I got two of those. My mom always called them the Johnny Jump Ups, and they say it right there on the Johnny Jump Ups. So before I start, remember, not all of these seeds are going to be good for whatever zone you are in. I am in zone five. Okay, so you have to make sure when you start your seeds is according to your growing zone. Okay. And on the back of the seeds, they actually show you map of the United States, 
and a color code of when you should plant these seeds. Okay. So, and they also obviously tell you how to sow them, but pretty cool. So, okay. So let's see, I got the viola and I got two different kinds of zinnia. Check these out. Candy cane, candy cane zinnia, um, mixed color zinnia. Those are pretty, they're beautiful. Now, in case you don't know what zinnia are, the flowers get to be a big pom-pom. Super easy to save the seeds. Um, so lesson learned, I'm going to put them in the carport next year where they're way up and out where the river doesn't ever go. Okay. What else did I get? I got two, that's the zinnia. I got two packages of four o'clocks. Okay. They're an annual flower. This is called kaleidoscope. And that's what, let's try this. That's what the four o'clocks look like. Really pretty flowers. Um, close to the look of um, a petunia. Sort of, sort of the same as a petunia. As far as they look like a little cone. Speaking of that, here is royalty mixed colors petunias. These are not wave petunias. There is a difference. Um, they didn't have wave petunias or I would have bought those. These are just straight up, straight up and down petunias. They will grow pretty, but they will not, they won't come and drape down the sides of the planter. So keep that in mind. Uh, do, 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 do. What do we got here? We got things all turned upside down. That's the viola. Uh, let's see. I got two pansies. Tri Trimodow, Trimo, Trimardow. Can you pronounce that word? Where is it? Right there. Mixed colors. Trimado, Trimardo. It's probably really easy and my brain just won't process it, but I got two of those. Here's ones that the next couple are my absolute favorite. Portulaca. I love the Portulaca. They are such beautiful. And they really are. It says right here, magic carpet. They really are a magic carpet because they will go out and spread nicely. If you put them at the edge of a garden, excuse me, near the walking stones, they will creep out onto the walking stones. It's really pretty. They make a nice edging and it's safe. So you don't really have to weed around the edging. These guys will cover it up. And then of course, snapdragons. So I got two different kinds. These are dwarf. So they're going to be shorter. Let's see if I can get them in there. There you go. Shorter ones. And these are the same colors, but these are the tall ones. Now I plant my own planters that go over my railings and my own um, hanging baskets. So I'm trying to strategically buy the flowers so they grow the right way I want them in the, in those containers. And then of course, impatience. Um, impa they're so versatile. As long as you don't put them in direct sun, they will go every, they'll, they'll just keep going. I've had impatience um, through October before. So uh, they're really pretty. These are mixed colors. So I will have pink, light pink, and white. They're really pretty. I like them. Start them indoors, which I'm planning on doing soon. And it does tell me here, April through June, I can start them. So I really like those. And then the last two I got were called, they're called bachelor buttons. When these flowers come in, they almost feel like they're made of tissue paper. It, they're, they're very hard. They stay all season. Um, and they feel like a tissue paper when they're in there. So I like those. So I have all of these. And it, it's funny because it was a Brex catalog I got, but the store I went to sold Burpee. But it's nice to, you know, look at it. Look how they look in the garden. You can see the hostas. Never underestimate a hosta. They're, they can be beautiful. Um, and they're great cover. They're, they're great for edging. They're great for taking an area that had nothing. And all of a sudden, boom, it's filled with nice plants. So I really like hostas. 
Um, last year I got the elephant ear ones. So they're huge. I mean, they're the leaves. I'm not exaggerating. The leaves are like this. It's really neat. And then I also got ones that are so dark. They almost look like they're black and they're really pretty too. And I got them at the same place. Um, last year they were on, um, clearance and I got them because they had fallen out of their package and the kids that worked there didn't know what to do with them. So I was like, I'll give you a couple bucks for them. And he was happy. He didn't have to clean it up. So, so that is my spring fever gardening trip for now. Um, what I'm going to do with these plastic trays is I'm going to take the little single cups, the curry cups that I have. I've already cleaned them out and they're drying. So I'm going to use them and line up as many of them as I can and start my plants. I can't start them yet. I mean, I could start some of the hanging ones, the hanging baskets in here. But I think the clutter might stress me out too much. So I don't think I'm going to do that. And I can't set them down anywhere because I have one cat who will completely destroy them. So... I was thinking to myself, I have one of those closet racks I could hang them on, but still then I'm treating my house like a greenhouse and that's not, that's not acceptable. So we're going to wait like we're supposed to wait and I will make, put them out in my greenhouse, um, probably the end of March, the end of March, I'll put them out. I keep looking up there cause that's where my camera used to be and now it's down here. So if I look silly looking up there, I apologize because it's over here now. So I've been telling you guys, since I went on my field trip with crafting with Kim and we did those, um, sun catchers, I've been telling you that I'm going to do a tutorial on them while I finally have everything I need. So the driftwood is clean and ready. Here it is. The ones I'm going to use, I think I'll start with this one cause it's really cool. I mean, they're all cool, but this one's got the nice natural bend in it. Yeah, I like this. So I'm going to start with this one. And then also at Ocean State Job Lots, I got the little hooks. Now, I'm going to start with the ones that are closed end. See them right there. And then, of course, if I run out, I'll go to the others. Um, either way, as long as you can hang them up, you can hang them up, right? So also today, one of the thrift stores was open. So I went in and in my head, I pictured I wanted to do one of the sun catchers, but I wanted to do it all purple. So I went up to the jewelry and I was going through the necklaces and all of their necklaces, they were going to sell by weight today. So they're like fill a bag for five bucks and you know six pounds worth for, for five bucks. So here's what I got and here's what I will be using. Of course, it's a spaghetti mess of necklaces. <laughs> so here's one. And what I'm going to do is after I take the price tags off, I'm going to separate them so that each necklace will be two strands. Okay. So I'll separate this one right here. Now you gotta be careful because some necklaces, you snip it and they all fall off. So I've got to measure it. I'm probably going to take it off and have these three come off and I will use them as stoppers to stop it from falling off. So I'm gonna use that one. And then there's this pretty one. Same idea, I think these. You can tell if you can slide it like that, it's normally going to fall off. So I'll do the same thing with that one. I'll take it so that it's on either side of this, this one. What other ones do I have? This one's got a little bit more than just purple. So I'll save that one just in case I need a filler or in case I need the purple off of it. Or I might actually use this one as the handle. Oh, it'll. Okay. I'll use that as the handle, maybe. Uh, what else do I have? This one's kind of pretty. It's not very sparkly, shiny. 
but it does give you the pretty color purple. So this either could be a handle for one of the other ones, or it could be a uh, decoration for on the side. I don't know if you remember when I went to my friend's house to do uh, the sun catchers, we did decorate the sides of the wood as well. So let's get another, oh, here's a nice, this one will be nice and sparkly. But this one's not really long enough to make it two. So um, let me open that up. Oh, maybe I can make it two short ones. See how it has these two. Yeah. Okay. So this one actually can be two. They can be two shorter ones. So when you're doing the sun catcher, you do them all different lengths. I'm still looking up there. When you do the sun catcher, you do them all different lengths so that um, it catches your eye. <laughs> I know, I cracked me up. What's this? Let's see here. Another pretty purple one. Of course I chose purple because purple is my favorite color. And this one's got some pretty neat beads in it. I like it. Um, I don't love the clasp on the end. I don't know if you can see it. Can I get it to focus? Um, no. Anyway, it's one of those clasps that screws like that instead of snaps on not ideal for this project but um i will figure something out and they will catch the sun nicely okay i probably won't need all of these just for one sun catcher but um you know when you got a sale like that why not i'm sure there will be other sun catchers to make and here is a spaghetti mess of <laughs> of necklace app ah. <laughs> uh, I do have a friend who likes to do this. Okay. I, on the other hand, get to the point where it becomes personal and I want to do it, but I do not enjoy it. There we go. All right. I believe it goes like this. There it is. Okie doke. So that's pretty. Okay. So I do have plenty. I could actually make two of them, I believe. This is pretty as well. Again, it won't really catch the sun as far as a glimmer or a glisten, but um, it could be good as a handle. This one doesn't have a lot of beads on it, but they will catch the sun nicely. If I can get them off of here. Huh. Again. Ha <laughs> ha! I won. So, uh... I can undo the clasp, see how that falls out, see how I can use that. And again, they're easy enough to take apart. So if I need to use it in pieces, I can. And then this one is more of a reddish or burgundy, but I couldn't pass it up. It's got this cool flower on it. I'm going to have to put my camera back up there because I'm just ridiculous reaching up there. You're all probably like, hey, we're down here. <laughs> huh, that's what I do. So yeah, I'm going to, um, hopefully when I'm done teaching for the day, and I get to go see my grandson today, so I'm hoping that um, after all of that, I'll be able to put up this tutorial on how to do the sun catchers. So that'll be really fun. I am still eating cough drops. I don't know what happens. It's it's like I don't have any other symptom other than I lose my voice and I cough. So it's really annoying. But I will try to get past that and um, get done with my tutorials. I do have a couple other that I other ones that I have to do. Um, I'm cracking myself up. I keep looking up there. Maybe I should just put the iPad down so it's not looking at me. Ah, now the camera's not looking at uh -huh. There we go. How about stop touching things? If they're not broke, don't fix them, right? <laughs> okay. I'm not touching anything else. Oh my goodness. It sure is a Monday video, isn't it? Holy moly. Now you're not even even. Where are you? How's that? How's that? Nobody move. You guys don't move. 
So I did get the uh, gotta finishes. You know how I am with that. So I had told you I found um, t-shirt yarn. I'd never worked with it before. I'm like, well, I mean, come on. Is that not perfect for a bag? So I just was kind of sitting there and I did the bottom. I kind of took all of the bags that I've learned so far or taught myself so far and put them into one. So I started with half double crochets on the bottom. So it's nice and, you know, nice and closed in. And then I did double crochets and then I did crisscross trebles. Then regular doubles and then all treble. And then up top, I did, I think I did pretty good actually. <laughs> For having no pattern whatsoever, I just kind of grabbed a hook and just started doing it. And then I figured why not put a little button there in case, you know, you don't want things to fall out of your bag. So I really like that bag. It's definitely going in my car so I can use it. I got a little bit more done on the baby blanket that I've been commissioned to do. But I actually just needed to, I learned a new phrase from teaching kindergarten. They call it a brain break. I had no idea what a brain break was. Apparently it's where you just get the wiggles out. <laughs> you just stop doing anything that really takes concentration and just sit and relax. So um, that's what I think I needed to do. So I did and the blanket will get done. You know that. I'm very far ahead of where I, I was. So that's one. Here, I need your advice before I put it away. So I've got one full skein into this already. Okay, let me put a stitch marker on it because I'm going to be messing with it. And I'll be missing. And then let me write down, I've got a J hook, so it's a six. I'm going to write it on this stitch marker. So I don't forget what hook I'm using. So it's a six. Okay. So your advice. I need to know if you think I'm going to have enough. I have three more plus this. So I have a total of five skeins to do this baby blanket. This is one. So if I do this, let's see. One. Two, three, four, I think it'll be longer than it is wider, but I mean, if not, I'll donate the blanket and I'll make my friend something different, but we'll see. Maybe I'll, I don't want to, but should I frog it and make it shorter? I started with 130. Should I start with 100 and make it? How long is this? Let's see how long this is. So that's 30. So it's about 47 inches. I don't want to frog it. Well, I never want to frog anything, but. Uh, we'll see. I'm not, not going to touch it right now. I'm going to sleep on it because if I frog it and then regret it and then it's a whole thing. Oh, I'm not touching it, but I will get back to working on it. I love the stitch. Again, it's a bag of day stitch, um, crystal over a bag of day. So if you just go to her site and look for all of her tutorials, they're all on there. It's great. If if you want to know specifically, put it in the comments and I will find it for you. And I will, wow, what's my hair doing? I will find it for you and I will um, give you the link, but I don't have it right now. So, all right. So I guess that's good for a Monday, right? <laughs> I knocked the camera over. I showed you some of my fun stuff, but um, got to get ready for teaching again on Tuesday. 
or tomorrow and uh, looking forward to it. So please, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, give me a subscribe, leave me a comment, letting me know what you think of the projects I have going on. Um, let me know what you think I should do about that blanket. I really don't want to hear the truth. <laughs> I want you to tell me it's just wonderful and leave it. <laughs> All right, my friends, thank you so much. I am sorry I'm babbling. So if you like the video, please like, subscribe, share. Please do share. Um, we are up to 924. I am hoping to get 1,000 subscribers by May 1st. So please, please, please share my channel with whoever you think might enjoy the content. I really do appreciate you and I appreciate your time. And remember, always be creative. Thanks, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.